Yeah, final early morning sunrise at least right around uh, 640 ish, but it's going to be pushed into 740 ish here in the next week here. We're talking about some light scattered showers, really nothing heavy. We can see I 20 is really not showing a lot of wet pavement out there this morning, but kind of a divided line as far as uh, what we're seeing horizon wise. We can see a little bit of light coming up there. 49 degrees, kind of a chilly start there. 40s and 50s back with a few isolated showers early, not expected a lot of rainfall into the afternoon hours. Now evening planner and going into this time tomorrow. Yes, we will start seeing a bit more of that rain opportunity coming in. I think everybody's ready for a little rain to wash the pollen out. That's going to happen here. Uh, the jog bike ride forecast. Yes, showers are there, but it's not opened up and completely widespread here. So we're keeping for some areas a dry start there, but 40s and 50s may require some sleeves there if you're outside getting a little morning exercise from Augusta to Daniel Field. It's upper 40s and mid 50s and back towards Graniteville. You're at 51. The Welcome Center there at the two state line in the low 50s. Seasonal highs back talking about getting down into more of a seasonal pattern for highs and lows. That's Again, what we're looking at mid and upper 60s rain threats coming in overnight into Friday and then maybe out of the weekend Sunday, early Monday. We've got a chance for some rainfall here, so those that aren't getting enough rain, you'll have two chances coming in here. Pollen meter will be affected by the rain, so that's definitely some good news with the rain that'll come in overnight into Friday starts building back up into Sunday and potentially Sunday and into Monday may provide some more wet weather to knock that pollen meter back. Here's a dry forecast for much of our day, with the exception of a few showers this morning, middle upper 60s uh, heading into about four or five o'clock. Now we're starting to see some of that rain move in and it will stay with us consistently overnight. Here's Friday morning right at about this time, maybe just a little hour ahead, 730 in the morning, 50s for lows. Rain still may linger in by noontime tomorrow. That's noon temps, 50s and 60s, but clearing skies Friday afternoon, evening and back into what's going to be a chilly Saturday morning. Look at lows. We're dipping into those 30s and 40s Saturday at midday and beyond there noon to 5, 530. We still have that seasonal planner coming in. So two shots at rain coming in this evening, early Friday into Sunday and into Monday of next week. Time change, of course, daylight saving time. Mornings may get even colder next week. How about dropping near freezing? Hmm, that could be an issue right there for plants.